Hi, everyone. I'm Susie Sa. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Jeff Vaughn. Another black eye for the LAPD tonight, just days after we learned that seven LAPD cadets were stealing patrol cars and taking them on joy rides. We learned today that a veteran officer has been arrested for allegedly having sex with one of those cadets. And Chief Beck personally arrested him today. Okay, Connie's Crystal Cruz is live in Rancho Cucamonga at this hour where detectives spent tonight going through that officer's home. Crystal. Hi, you guys. Detectives just left with guns. We're talking about lots of rifles tonight. People want to know what these guns were all about. Friends, family in the neighborhood stunned by these allegations. I'm very sad. Can you tell us about Robert? It's just, he's a good, good person. He really is. Mirna Wong in tears as cops searched her friend's home in Rancho Cucamonga and pulled out evidence, including several guns. Los Angeles police officer Robert Kane accused of having sex with a 15 year old girl wrapped up in the LAPD cadet scandal, including a chase of stolen cop cars last week. You believe these allegations are true? I really don't know. I, I just can't believe that something like that could happen to him. I cannot believe this. This is so incredible what happened. The arrest of Kane, a 10 year veteran with the police department, is the latest development of a scandalous storyline that started with the arrests of seven LAPD cadets, including the teenage girl, for stealing three police cruisers. Chief Charlie Beck says he personally arrested Kane Thursday morning. I find the uh, actions of Kane, if they are proven, to be despicable. I find them to be. Uh, absolutely inconsistent with the ethics and standards of the Los Angeles Police Department, and they are criminal. According to Beck, detectives learned about the underage sex from the cadet's cell phone and said Kane appeared to have a short relationship with her this past month. A woman told us off camera she's been dating Kane for the last couple of months and doesn't believe the allegations. A neighbor told us the accusations don't sound like the Kane he knows and trusts with his own children. Mirna feels the same. I don't know if it's a setup. You never know. We're living in the world that is so bad and somebody stop you on the back and you never know. Envy, who knows? Kane's still in jail at this hour, but can post bail set at $75,000. I'm Crystal Cruz live in Rancho Cucamonga tonight. Back to you guys in the studio. Okay, Chris.